Okay, welcome people to what if Roga beat Tsuku all the way back to episode 5. Now, let's begin on what Tsuku would have done when Roga beat him. Well, I think that Tsuku would have went to go apologize. Well, first thing he would do, he would just storm off. And Roga would be, well, he would storm off, probably be alone for a while. And then he would go alone for training with Jack. And then the buddy bully, the buddy card office or whatever, they would have tried to look for Tsuku. They would have found Tsuku because they can track him in other dimensions. Um, so yeah, they would have tracked him down, and Tsuku would have to make that whole big, um, character development story. But after he apologizes and all of that, he would go training with Gao. Like, he'd be training a lot. So, yeah. He would have been non-stop training with Gao, the best player he knows. So he would have kept training, 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 training. Gao would be yet stronger. So, yeah. Ruga would be going out training knowing that Tsuku would be training, knowing Tsuku. Especially with Gao on his side of training. So, yeah. Um, the ABC Cup would still happen. He... Hmm. He probably would... He would have still lost to Gao, but not probably in one turn. So, that would probably make um, him go enter in the ABC Cup. He'd beat Genma. Because the evil villain supposed to beat the... Like, the hero and the villain are supposed to meet in the final match. So, he would beat Gemma in some way, shape, or form. Or Gao would have to beat Genma. Um, I think Roga would have to face Genma in the semifinals, and Gao had to face Sonya in the semifinals. I don't know about the rest of the tournament. But, um, yeah, he would go in the final battle with Gao. He would have maybe lost to Gao, but Gao has been doing a lot of intense training with Tsuku, and he would have he would have easily Gao and Ruga would easily defeat like almost anybody there, with the exception of Genma, Noboru, and Genma, Noboru, and Zanya. So yeah. They would fight, Gao would win, and Roga would storm off for a while doing even more intense training and evolving into his new ace deck. Now, he would have still went to Sengoku Academy looking to get even more stronger. He would have still taken Kiri because just following the rest of the story. Um, he would have taken Kiri, probably would have trained him more seriously because he wanted more people to be strong and he wanted to be, he would probably want to feel like a master just like how he did with the people at Sengoku. <clears throat> so that's what I would think would happen there. And in terms of the Gone Cup, I think Tsuku, at one point, he'd have to join, um, he'd have to join Disaster. The way is that <clears throat> Tsuku would try to, um, fight him, and, Ri and Roga would have dominated him again through all of the training, and he, Tsuku would realize he wasn't getting any much stronger, or he'd feel like that 
but Rugo's just been getting really stronger, a lot more strong, so he'd probably join Disaster. But if this, um, Tsuka would be stronger if Roga beat him two times, because um, he the first time he didn't have a choice, so he didn't really want to join Disaster, but his feeling of being weak really overtook him, so he would have to join Disaster. And I would think Roga would have stayed in Disaster for longer, yet for the rest of the series. But Roga would um, find out his plan to destroy the world, because um, Roga's plan was never really to destroy the world. He just wanted to take over Buddy Fight. So yeah, but <clears throat> after he'd realized um, Kiyoya was evil, and he had evil intentions, like really evil intentions, he would have tried to and notice how Gao how was getting stronger in his own way. And Gao would have surpassed Rauga, by the way. Um, he would probably try, at least try a little, to, um, to at least try to stop Kiyoya. Um, so in the fight between him and Kiyoya, Roga, we all know he lost to Kiyoya at one point, but I don't know. He most likely lost to Kiyoya at one point. So, he would have had a better fight against Kiyoya, if not winning against him. But, if, if Roga won against him, it would actually be better for the series, in my opinion. Because... The only thing Gao got out of winning was more fame, and Roga was under the radar, and he still wouldn't be uh, a bad guy. He pro he might, may or may not, he's one of those lone wolf guys, so I won't think he would join the buddy police, but he would have still been fighting for good, just how like Vegeta did in Dragon Ball Z. So yeah. He probably would try to find, well, in the 100 series, he'd probably fight one of the Omni Lords at one point. Maybe even using him in one of the decks. But if there's a Danger World Omni Lord in, um, in the theory I'm talking about, let's just suppose there was a Danger World Omni Lord. I, th I think that... In some way, shape, or form, Roga would meet that Omni Lord. And maybe it was like a Omni Lord of Cerberus, using that as his final and ultimate evolution. Now, I'm not sure about what Cerberus's ability would be, but I kind of have an idea, but I'm not sure, so I'm probably not going to say that. But he'd meet up with them. He'd be training even more. So, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> I'm speechless. Okay, so he'd be training more. He'd be helping to find more Omni Lords along with Gao. He'd be training with the weak links. He might get persuaded by Gao to join the buddy police, but I'm skeptical about that. But if he were to join, he'd probably train one of the weaker links of the buddy police, such as Tetsuya. So yeah, he'd probably have, he'd probably train with Gao and ta teach Tetsuya. So yeah. So, all in all, if Roga beat Tsuku, it would be a lot better for the series. Maybe more people would like Roga, but yeah, instead of Tsuku. But, 
I'd like to thank you guys for watching this Buddy Fight Theory video. And this has been What If Rauga Beat Tsuku back in Episode 5. So thank you guys for watching and goodbye.